Anna. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, I am super excited because we are doing a multi-channel collab, doing a full face of using only one brand of makeup. Now, I almost declined doing this collab for that specific reason. I only tend to find a handful of products from each brand that works out for me. I did struggle trying to think of what brands in my collection could I pull off this collab with. Originally, we were bouncing back and forth of doing drugstore brands that was something that made me even more nervous because I do tend to lean more towards prestige brands and when one of them took ColourPop I said crap now I'm totally screwed won't be able to do this but luckily I found products from NYX I would like to thank Terry's Corner for inviting me to do this collab she's a wonderful friend and subscriber of mine as well as skincare and beauty with Perky Perkins and Sandy a7 who are also participating in this collab if you are visiting from their channels welcome hi hello I hope that you subscribe before you leave before clicking off this video let's get into it to be honest NYX hasn't had a very exciting release in a hot minute except for the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina collab, and I'm not going to be using this in this video. I want to do a dedicated video and review of this palette, but here is a sneak peek. I had no idea this was even a thing. I totally missed it on Trend Mid's page, but Catherine tagged me in and saying, did you see this? I haven't seen that you liked the photo yet, and I absolutely needed it. That was even before they revealed the color story. It doesn't look that Sabrina witchy vibe, but I still bought it because I love that show. I love this. Low by who? Also, with the purchase of that palette, I got this really cute makeup bag as well, which I have all of my NYX products in here. Some of these products I haven't even tried yet. Some of them are newer to my collection. Some of them just have been collecting dust. For primer, I'm going to take the NYX Bear With Me. I absolutely adore this primer. It is a jelly primer, like so and it works 20 times better than Ella Mosqua. Actually, I can't speak for everyone. I can only speak for myself because I have dry skin. And maybe Ella Mosqua will work well for oily skin folks, but it did not do a dang thing of hydration for me and my dry ass skin. It is very cooling to the touch, and I'm obsessed. What is this? Remnants of old makeup from last night? Cool. And you only need a little bit of primer a little does go a long way and my face feels so good and fresh. I've tried a few products from the Bear With Me line. Not bad. This and the Tinted Moisturizer are my favorites so far. I've tried the Setting Spray, which I'll be using again. I think it might be too misty for me, but I am probably one of the most pickiest people when it comes to setting sprays. I have a whole checklist of what I like in my setting sprays. I'm out of my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I couldn't find the backup. I think it's set aside for another video. Spoiler alert. But I found the NYX Stay matte but not flat liquid foundation I'm not sure if this is still around I did get it a while ago I know foundation has a shelf life of 12 months so it's definitely past that but I remember getting this because we were going to a wedding and I didn't pack face makeup who am I we did a little bit of impulse buying at Ulta it's what happens when you go makeup shopping with your friends it might be too dark for me at the moment because it was a summer wedding but you know what we're just gonna roll with it and I forgot how thick this foundation is I know a lot of people actually have mixed feelings about the NYX can't stop won't stop but I really like that foundation it is one of my favorite drugstore foundations it does so good it's a full coverage matte foundation that doesn't make my face seem so Spongebob needing water and dehydrated. I was worried about the foundation being maybe too dark, but it might be too light. It just looked a lot darker in the packaging. The only setting powder that I could find was the blotting powder by NYX, and it is broken. Ha! <laughs> Joke is on me. I didn't realize. I thought it wasn't broken. Okay, well, now it is. I almost saved the nasty loose setting powder that I featured in my Makeup Rejects video. That wouldn't do a dang thing. At least this is kind of doing something. It's not doing the best, but it's, it could be a lot worse, like that setting powder. The loose one just has a very bad white cast. It doesn't set your face nice. It just 
doesn't do anything that a loose setting powder should. I do have concealer, but I'm not sure how it's gonna look or it's going to crease on me, like my eyelids. This is actually a product I'm trying to test. This is the Born to Glow Concealer. Originally, I wasn't going to use this concealer in this video since I don't have loose powder to set it, but let's just try it anyway. Watch it do really good without it. And the applicator is quite interesting with this like fuzzy foundation was totally lighter. Oh, this is actually pulling up a little orange on me. Interesting. It's supposed to have a neutral undertone, but it's going to be hard to gauge this concealer when my foundation is way too light and I don't have powder. So there's just a lot of assumptions that we have to take into consideration right now. I didn't realize I would probably need the light to medium and not just a medium. I struggle shade matching. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like the worst. Undertones just mess me up so bad. I'm gonna let my face sit. Actually, I'm gonna spray it with some of this Bear With Me right now. See, I feel like I just had to use so much product right there to help set my face. I don't know, just wasn't getting it fully set yet, but I just want my face makeup to sit while we move on to the eyes. Now, I love a lot of NYX's eye products. They are some of my absolute favorite, like this micro brow pencil. Super good, super affordable if you don't wanna splurge on a ABH brow whiz, benefit precisely my brow, or my favorite, Wonder Beauty. I know. Wonder Beauty made it into one of my favorites. But I have a, another Wonder product on the way, thanks to my girl, Karen Ann MUA. I'm so excited. It was the Wonder Duo that we got in a boxy charm. And Amanda gets two base boxes and still didn't get one. So I was actually a little upset because I wanted one to try out. And Karen was so kind to send one to me. I have a new brow setter. It's part of the Bear With Me line. It is the Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Brow Setter. Sounds fancy. This is what it looks like. It looks very much like the ColourPop Clear Brow Gel. Oh, it applies just like it too. Oh no, I don't like this. I just don't like <laughs> those really chunky white ones. I just like it to be a clear gel, like the ABH one. Is that too hard or make it tinted like the ColourPop ones? But this is not my favorite right now. I don't like it. But I feel like a good NYX brow setter, which I actually might go through my brows with, is the NYX Control Freak. Now the wand is a bit excessive. Yeah, it's thicker than my brows, but it is a clear gel like I just explained. I like the ColourPop tinted ones, not the clear ones to set. I, ugh. I don't know why the thick white gel just really bothers me. I feel like I can just see like a little bit of a white cast residue from that formula too. I guess I need to prime a little bit <laughs> with this concealer. I have the NYX Ultimate Rainbow Palette. I have the neutral one as well. Works so nice. This rainbow one has some mixed reviews on it, but we are going to give it a shot and see because I haven't used it before and I don't want to judge it without not trying it. Let's take this shade right here. There's only a little bit of kick up. Not bad. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, this shade. She's showing up. She came to party. She's going to put this on the first half. Cleaning it off with my color wheel. Whee! I am going to take this purple right here for the other half. It's very light, so this is going to have to be built up a little bit. Once you layer it 20 times, it seems to be good, but I like that in my shadows. I like that a lot because it's not just bam pigment in your face. You can build it up to your liking. Definitely getting into the spring vibes with this look. And then I'm gonna take this like teal mint shade right here to put on my lid. I thought about cutting the crease, but not with this concealer. <laughs> Is that cute or nah? Too much? Maybe it's more of an aqua than a teal. I'm gonna add some eyeliner before I smoke out my lower lash. 
for my eyelid, I'm gonna take the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. So good for a very affordable liquid eyeliner. It is matte, it is black, it doesn't budge, it is very long lasting. And this is a product where I cannot justify really splurging on a high end one, which I know I love my house lavatories ones. I got that in my Bijou Beauty Box. A lot of high end eyeliners, they're good, but I always think of the NYX one because you can't beat it for what seven dollars that you pay for this and when NYX runs their sales you can get it for about three dollars as much as I really do enjoy trying the prestige ones I always find myself going back to NYX and then for the waterline I'm gonna take the NYX retractable eyeliner it's really nice because it does retract, so you don't need a pencil sharpener. I always lose mine, so I definitely prefer a retractable component. They are a lot smoother on your waterline, whereas the traditional pencils seem to really tear at my waterlines, irritates them, waters my eyes really bad because I already have super watery eyes as it is. So it's another great option if you don't want to splurge on something high end. Even though the Dose and Milk Makeup Retractable Eyeliners are some of my absolute favorites, but on a more more budget friendly side, I think this still does a really good comparable job to those two. Thinking of maybe this bright ass blue right here. My left eye is starting to water, no. Ooh, what a fun look. I'm actually low key living for it. What a fun spring look. I can cross that off my video to-do list. I did not run into any issues with the four shades I use, but I can definitely see where some shades could give me some trouble, like yellow. Insert BH Cosmetics rant about the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, or maybe like the more corally shade. I don't know, maybe these greens as well. I definitely need to play around with it more. It's not a full review of this palette. It is definitely me just testing it out for the first time. And let's add some mascara to it, which I have a sample of the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Mascara. I haven't tried this before, so let's give it a whirl. It's very dry. I see it lengthening, but not volumizing. Let's try another coat. Still just meh. Maybe it's cause like the formula is so dry. I don't know, I don't like that. Switching gears back to the face, I have the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is the shade Medium. I'm a little scared. It could be a very dark bronzer for right now. I also picked this up along with the foundation. So these are more of my summer products and we're in winter right now. Even though I feel like spring is trying to make its appearance a little bit early, which makes me sad because we've got no snow. If you have snow, send it my way. Okay, thanks. It went on a little scary at first when I did my initial poop, but it's blending out quite nice. I was afraid that it was gonna pull up a little bit more orange on me when I first bought it, and it doesn't, which definitely took me by surprise. This blush, I'm a little nervous for. <laughs> it's the Electro blush, but I'm gonna lightly tap into it. It's not as terrifying on the cheeks. It blends out really nice. It's definitely more of an intense blush for me these days. I've been finding myself lean more towards peach or light pink. Definitely something not as intense as this, but definitely goes super light handed. You can build it up to your liking. Highlighter, I don't know. Maybe this one will look good. It's a very beaming highlight. At first I didn't think it was gonna be that beaming until I turned my head a little bit more and I was like, boom, bitch. Yeah, like I said, I feel like you have to spray so much product just for it to get set. And lips. I have a good old OG NYX lip liner. And then I'm gonna take this NYX Intense Butter Gloss. I haven't used one of these in a hot minute. Oh, maybe it might ruin this look. Maybe this pink one won't be as bad. Oh wow, that might be hot pink. 
Okay, maybe this nude pink. I'm running out of ideas. Just a quick recap of the products. I absolutely love this Bare With Me primer. It does such a good job gripping to your face and being a nice slate for when you apply your foundation. Switching gears to the foundation, it was a super thick and dry formula, but my face still looks like there's moisture to it thanks to the primer. Luckily, I did have something to set with it, like this powder. It wasn't the best powder, but it still set it. It did look maybe a little too cakey. The pores were exposed and these filled the pores right in. I actually think I am going to toss it because it did crumble on me and I'm not sure how a repressed setting powder will do. It's okay. I've had it here for a while so at least it made it into one video. The bronzer is quite nice. I definitely think that shade medium is a good match for me. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It doesn't pull orange. It meets a lot of the requirements I like in my bronzers. I definitely should have probably picked a little bit more lighter shade. I guess this is when I was still into very hardcore intense blushes but you can go in very light-handed to achieve a nice pink flush to the cheeks but definitely be careful as we saw on this cheek it definitely is a little bit more intense so you can definitely build it up to your liking I only used one shade in this but it is popping on the cheekbones so I'm excited to try the remainder of the shades oh the concealer I actually liked it it felt pretty hydrating to it it also was the primer for my eyelids which did a really good job popping out the eyeshadows I just think it's a little too dark for me right now. I thought it was going to be a good match for me. This one's supposed to have a neutral undertone, but it did pick up a little bit more yellow on me when applied. I liked it. I just need to play around with it some more. That was my first time using it, as well as this eyeshadow palette. I know some people have mixed reviews on it. The four shades I used worked out really nice. I still need to play around with it a little bit more to give every shade a chance. There are some concerning shades, especially on the bottom row, maybe some on the top row as well with respect to blending and their payoff but for that I use I can't complain and then the good old epic ink liner I will continue to repurchase this when I need eyeliners same as the retractable one you really can't beat those two eyeliners for their price and their quality I know for me prestige is more fun to try out but sometimes it's not always the best budgeting splurge so these definitely can get the job done and I guess the same could be said for the NYX micro brow pencil you could definitely spend 60 bucks on a liquid retractable and brow pencil right there where you can spend if they are on sale 10 bucks for three products or at most you're spending maybe 20 bucks to get three of these which is a third of the cost I think I'm gonna toss out this small NYX on the rise mascara it was very dry when it applied it lengthened nice it did not volumize I don't think I've had this that long it came in one of those free gifts with purchase from Ulta so I don't know maybe it's just a dud need to try another one same with the NYX bear with me I wasn't impressed with how it set my eyebrows it reminded me so much of the ColourPop clear brow gel as well where it's not actually clear it definitely has a white chunk to it so not my favorite and the NYX bear with me setting spray not my favorite I felt like I used like 50 pumps to get my face actually completely set I did set my face twice with it and I don't know if it really contributed to anything but it's supposed to have an up to eight hour wear which I would like a little bit longer in my setting sprays I mean you have urban decay all nighter to last all night do you have slay all day by Gerard cosmetics where you really do slay all day not meeting my expectations but I'm also very picky when it comes to setting sprays. The NYX lip liner is just a classic. I think it's just a really good neutral lip shade to be able to use with any lip color that you might have if you like to outline your lips. Something I don't really do all the time but I wanted to do it for the purpose of this video. And then the good old butter gloss. They are so juicy. I really like this neutral shade. It's something I wouldn't usually go for. I don't want to put on a super bold lip to take away from the eye look. I would love to know what your favorite NYX product is. They have so many products. I haven't even tried everything myself. This is a good amount but there's still so much out there also let me know what brand in your collection do you have the most of and could you do a full face with it I definitely challenge you to try that it is super hard for me there are so many brands out there that I just have a little bit here and there I definitely want to explore more drugstore products so if you have drugstore recommendations leave them in the comments I know Maybelline has so many new things out right now I keep hearing things about Joa that I want to try 
any recommendations would be super helpful. A drugstore haul might come in the future. Thanks again to Terry's Corner, Perky Perkins, and Sandy A7 for collabing with me. Also, I currently have my February giveaway open right now. If you are currently subscribed and already entered in the giveaway, don't forget to comment in this video for your additional entry. And if you haven't entered yet, there will be a link in the description to go check out. You must be subscribed and leave a comment on that video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.